Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The time for talk is over as we are just mere moments away from the Super Bowl. Two teams now have a chance to prove they are the best. It's the Ravens going up against the Falcons. Now let's head down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for today's matchup. Ravens coming up on EA Sports. We welcome you to Santa Clara, California for today's game. It's Super Bowl 50, Phil. A milestone game in the history of the NFL. And do the players at this point have any feeling at all about the bigness of this one? Man, Jim, all they're thinking about is the job they got to do. They've trained all their lives to be in this position. And you take all that practice and preparation and make sure you put it on display here in today's game and try to be a Super Bowl champion. Pleased to bring in the third member of our broadcast team, Danielle Bellini, with the report from the sidelines. Thanks, guys. Super Bowl 50 is a very special milestone for the NFL. Super Bowl I was played back in 1967 at the L.A. Coliseum. As you recall, the Green Bay Packers beat the Kansas City Chiefs on that day. But I'm sure neither of those teams could have imagined the Super Bowl growing to be as big as it is today, guys. That being said, we've got two teams out here who desperately want to make history by winning the Super Bowl tonight to ensure they're the ones that are remembered and that everyone is talking about 50 years from now. Back to you guys. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. Matt Bosher ready to kick it away to start the game. That kick, we're now 60 minutes away from crowning a champion. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. He was a first round pick out of Delaware. Quarterback Joe Flacco. It's a two tight end formation. First down at the 24. Flacco flings it way down the field. Could have been intercepted. Let's set the lineup now for the offense. He redefined the slot position in the NFL. Wes Welker. No doubt he redefined the slot position, and he's turned out to be one of the best. There's going to be arguments. Is he deserving to, does he deserve to go to the Hall of Fame? I think he will one day. But slot receiver with a pair of hands like his, tough to stop. At the 34, 66 yards from pay dirt. Yes, 
First down at the 34. Rice. They'll mark him at the 41. And that's the type of run I think this offense would take all game long, Phil. Oh, would be ever. They would love this. This is this is showing your dominance here. The offensive line doing a good job, but also a solid job by the running back picking up some good yards. Steve Smith with the grab. Can you believe how steady and reliable this guy is? He is. He is. Is it, What's the phrase for it? He is money, Jim Nance. Man, he pays off every single time. You throw the football near him, he'll make the catch. Scans the field. Blacko's pass will be incomplete this time. A big presence on that defensive front out of Iowa is Adrian Claiborne. Yeah, he was a tremendous prospect coming out of the University of Iowa, and I'll tell you, when healthy, he is a great player in the NFL on the defensive front. They need him to play very well. The Ravens have it at the 44. And incomplete as Brown can't hold on. You know, Jim, it's been a long time, but when I played, it was third long early in the game. I knew the defense was going to be very careful. So I was already thinking, if I don't like it down the field, I'm going to throw it short and do it quickly. The Ravens have it at the 44. It's intercepted! And he's brought to the ground. Here's the former Boston College quarterback, Matt Ryan. First down at the 38. Ryan gives it up. Freeman's tackled down at the 38. When you look for a threat on that Atlanta offense, there is Roddy White. Roddy White has gotten better as his career has gone along. He's just refined the skills that you need for, at his position. He's big and strong and fast, but now he's turned into a terrific route runner. Hankerson makes the play. Taken down, but not until he picks up the first. What a tremendous effort after making the reception, breaking tackles, and picking up additional yardage. We see this so often now, don't we, in the NFL? These wide receivers are such incredible athletes. Not only can they make spectacular catches, they're strong enough to break tackles like this and get extra yards. Showcasing now the defensive starters, a former defensive player of the year, Terrell Suggs. T. Sizzle, we talk about that. What a nickname to have. That tells you how good he is because there is absolutely some sizzle to his game. So big, so strong, and a great pass rusher. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. When you played in the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 21 MVP, it was gigantic there in Pasadena. Is it bigger now today? Yeah, the game is just much bigger now, Jim, because more people are watching it. The press that covers it, TV, it's around the clock analyzation of, of the game, and it's all about winning. You must win the Super Bowl to get credibility from the fans and the media. Uh, it's not fair, but that's just the way it is. First down on the way. Double tight end formation. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. The Ravens with a nickel look here on defense. The Falcons snap it at the 31. Gets it again.
you got to be big, strong, you got to be tough. And we saw all those qualities that time in that run. Look at the broken tackles. First down, offense readying for the snap. This will probably be the last play before the two-minute warning. Ryan takes it from the gun. Got drilled as he throws it. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. We're back, and we're coming out of the two-minute warning in the first half. Second and ten. Ryan's taking off. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. Well, he's got talent. This receiver can make the catches when you throw it his way. And I think... His talent, the way offenses are designed, and the rules of the NFL, it makes guys like him almost unstoppable. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Halfway through the second quarter. And that's a touchdown. First one of the game in the Super Bowl. Man, the defense has to be down in something like this. They allow the offense to score that touchdown in the red zone. My gosh, you only had such a small part of the field to defend, and they just didn't get the job done that time. Falcons with an extra point try on the way. The point after is good. The Falcons getting ready to kick it off. Perriman's going to test the coverage this time. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. The Falcons' defense comes back onto the field after getting that interception the last time out, ending a long drive. Yeah, what a job by them. And I'll say this, they know how to play the football when it's in the air, and they took advantage of a good situation, and they got that interception. Pinnas met after a gain of eight. Pass complete, but did not get them the first, so it's second down now. Good job by the offense going the hurry-up offense. You do this to get the plays in, but also you want to conserve the timeouts. And they get the sack. The Ravens call a timeout. They're first. Now looking at third down. Shotgun time here for Joe Flacco. From the gun. Makes the grab. Browns tackle down after a gain of 10. The offense stops the clock right away with a timeout. First and 10. He'll throw it over the middle. Marvin Brown with the catch. Browns tackle right at the 20. Blackwell is able to show off the footwork. Wow, what a good job. Look at those feet. Like a dancer. Gets himself in very good position to throw the football. First down at the 20. Jennifer Welker locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. Good job of hurrying up and getting on that football and trying to get the play off. Don't use the timeout. He makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Boy, things suddenly feel a lot different as that touchdown ties things, Phil, right before the intermission. Oh, yeah, it just changes everything. It puts one team in a funk because they let the other team tie it up. And, of course, when you're the team that's behind and you score that touchdown to tie it up before halftime, man, that makes you feel great. 
He'll take it from the one. And he's going to be brought down right around the 33-yard line. The Falcons coming back onto the field on offense. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it. Listen, momentum is on their side. When you have that going for you, keep the defense guessing at what you're going to do. So I think it's very important to stay aggressive in this situation. And it falls incomplete. Neither offense able to pull away in a first half that saw two defenses matching each other step for step. Larry Ridley coming up next to break down this first half. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Both the Ravens and the Falcons are having some issues finding a way into the end zone. They'll both look to improve their play on offense and pick up some touchdowns in the second half. The Ravens defense comes out for this first drive of the second half in a tie game, Phil. What do you expect out of them in the second half? Don't let up, man. Keep attacking. Keep going after that offense and keep them. When you keep attacking them, what will happen is they will just get more and more conservative, and that's exactly what you want them to do. Second down coming up. The Ravens with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Matt Ryan from the shotgun. Throws the pass. Devontae Freeman with the reception. Well, you can't play man to man, Jim, every single play. Every once in a while, you got to throw in the zone. That's what they did this past play. Hey, it was a good idea. It just didn't work. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. The Falcons approach the line, and they're going with their jumbo package. Freeman's tackled down at the 36. This will be second down. Now he's going to change the play. And look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. And now Ryan's going to take off. What a catch. That's reception number two for him. Quite a play that time to not only keep the play alive, but then to find a man down the field. Sometimes when there's nothing there, Jim, you got to make a play. That quarterback did a beautiful job getting outside the pocket. The defense, they cannot cover these guys that long, and he puts the ball right on target. Teams in the NFL spend about 30, 40% of their time all week long practicing plays in the red zone. So there's a lot they can do here. Let's see if they come up with something that works. We don't always get to see defensive matchups these days, but today it's been exactly that. Low-scoring game, and it's because both defenses have really stepped up and done their job. Yeah, a lot of people look at games like this and go, oh, that's boring. I think it's fun to see because we don't get to see it too often. And what it does, it puts a lot of pressure on the players and especially the coaches to make decisions that are going to give their team a chance to win in a game like this. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Then picks up about three. Third and goal from the one. There's a signal from the far side. The hands are up. It is a touchdown. We're heading to the fourth, and partner, they look to have seized command of this game with that touchdown. Oh, I think they have. They have seized command, Jim. They put the pressure on the other coaching staff and the players. This is a great spot to be in. The Falcons for the extra point. Makes the PAT. The Ravens return team is ready. Jackson's going to test the coverage here. Gets out past the 20 and brought down. 24. 
the Ravens getting set to take over again on offense. They'll be trying to pick it up right where they left off with their last drive that ended in a touchdown. Yeah, they're throwing the football well. And I'll tell you, I've been covering this game a long time. There's still nothing pretty than seeing a quarterback drop back and throw a perfect spiral down the field and watching guys catch it. It's That was a work of art, the last drive. You see the rushing numbers now, and well, there's just not much to look at because neither team has run the ball very well today. Yeah, really, when you look at running the football, it's not a strength of either football team, so it's it's pretty easy to stop them in situations like this. And intercepted. Keeps turning ahead. Rice is there to make the tackle. Still late third quarter, and the defense gets the football back with the interception. Yeah, it's about time. It's time they made that play. They've been in position a few times today, and they didn't take advantage of the situation. But that time, they got the right call, the right defense, and they made the play. Really good field position here to start this drive. The Falcons offense preparing to get this drive underway. Their last drive actually ended in a touchdown, Phil. We'll see if they still have it in them to issue a repeat performance. Well, what you saw in that last drive was everything just came together perfectly for them. The experience of the football team, the talent of the players, and the coaches helped them out, and they got it done. It's been all about the defenses today as we welcome you back to the action. If they're going to have any chance at all here late in the fourth, the defense must make a big stop and give the ball back to the offense. Lewis is there to take it down. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. Now it becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score? Leading and with possession of the football, a good place to be at this point in the game. Touchdown, Falcons! And with less than a quarter to play, it's going to be very difficult to catch them at this point. Yeah, the, the chances of a comeback have almost gone to impossible, but I'll say this on the offensive side. Don't take any chances and see if you can just find a way to march down the field to score to keep this game going. The extra point, the kick is good. Falcons setting up here for the kickoff. Perriman's going to run this one out. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Ravens are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way. That turnover led to turnover points. And now let's see if the offense can get that back, Bill. Yeah, listen, I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time, the coaches took them to the sideline and just gave them heck. That's for sure. That's a good way of seeing it. So motivation can't make those kind of mistakes. You've got to go out there and be much better. The Ravens from the 32. Has his target. And Rice is stopped there. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. The Ravens will take the snap from the 45. He's hit as he throws it. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. The Ravens will take the snap from the 45. defense is on it and that's gonna ice this game it sure does I give the defense credit but listen that was a awful job by the ball carrier 
no way he's gonna fumble in a situation like this. The Falcons offense preparing to get this drive underway. Their last possession ended in a touchdown. Phil, let's see if they can do it again. Very well done. Love what I saw out there on the offense the last time. They mixed it up and they showed a lot of confidence. You can see the speed of the football team and try to duplicate what they just did. Matt Ryan under center. Second and eight. Freeman's got it on the handle. Timeouts called, and we're going to step aside. Be back in just a moment. Coming to the line at the 34. The Falcons need to get to the 27 to pick up a first. Right back to him. That's a good tackle, and that's a quick three and out. And the defense will use one of its timeouts right here. This will be a 50-yard field goal attempt. The kick, and it's through there. The kick is good. Well, that time the offense had great field position. They don't take advantage of it, but at least they get three points. Good job by the kicker coming in and getting some points on the board. The Falcons are ready to kick it away. Jackson's running this one out. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Desmond Trufant takes the field once again. And it's been a defensive showcase game for this unit. And now they're just cruising to the finish line in full control. The coaches are going to be so excited about this game. Because Intercepted! That's got to be the game ender here, partner. The interception basically ices it. It does. You know, sometimes when you're behind as a quarterback, you take a chance. And that time, the chance was just too great. Nice play by the defense. First down at the 23. Handoff out of the eye formation. Yeah, I love situations like this. This is when I was at my best, getting in the huddle and telling everybody all the things. Put two hands on the football. Don't anybody jump off sides. Don't take any chances. And most of all, stay in bounds. Falcons are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Timeout offense. lining up for the field goal. He's one for one so far today. Drives it through for the field goal. For the first time ever, the Atlanta Falcons have won the Super Bowl. The Lombardi Trophy is heading to the state of Georgia. You were the first to ever say after a Super Bowl victory, I'm going to Disneyland. 
Now, what about these players on the field here today? I know you'll find this amazing. I did it without cue cards. I memorized that, and it was awesome. It was a great feeling. The brotherhood will never be stronger than this moment. All the dreams coming out of youth. The emotion of it all, it's almost overwhelming. To realize a dream from the playgrounds, through all the practices, to one day have your hands on the Lombardi Trophy. And now that moment is realized. For the rest of your life, you'll be remembered as a Super Bowl champion. For Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long from the Super Bowl. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence.